The search for extraterrestrial life is the most profound quest in the history of man, hands down. If we could find life elsewhere, and that is a new dawn in the history of our species. I mean, this is probably one of the more alien places on planet Earth. Elsewhere in our solar system, there are systems just like this, right? That's right. Lift off of the Cassini spacecraft on a billion mile trek to Saturn. Saturn has this moon called Enceladus. It's got a thick icy crust. Underneath that icy crust is a subsurface water ocean. The amazing thing about Enceladus is it's got these giant cracks across the surface. And out of those cracks, that subsurface liquid water ocean is actually erupting into space, not that dissimilarly from Old Faithful. So we actually took the Cassini spacecraft and we flew it right through those eruption plumes. And in fact, at the lowest, we were about 26 miles above the surface. And so we actually got to sample the material coming out of Enceladus. Incredibly exciting. We measured water and we measured silica. We also found organic molecules. So probably means there are hydrothermal volcanic vents erupting at the bottom of that ocean. That makes me optimistic that this time of finding life beyond Earth is actually much closer than we think. Is it your opinion that if all the conditions for life are present, that life will arise? Or is there something missing in our understanding, something necessary for it to arise? No, it'll arise. Okay. It's inevitable. When we first started searching, we didn't really have an idea of how many planets there were in space, how many Earth-like civilizations there might be. We were guessing in the dark. We learned from recent studies this wonderful thing that almost every star has a planetary system. And a large fraction of those, probably more than a quarter, have a planet situated at a, such a distance from the star that the temperature in particular is suitable for life. And thus, there may be many more inhabited planets than we ever imagined. 